Hey, what's up everyone? So today I want to talk about how Las Vegas is growing. Las Vegas is growing so much. I am unfortunately 47 years old. I just turned 47. Wow, whatever. I hate birthdays now. Anyways, I just turned 47. I've lived in Las Vegas for 40 years. I'm from Long Beach, California. And um, I do travel back and forth to Cali a lot, to San Diego. I love San Diego. The winter, the weather is amazing. Anyways, um, Vegas is changing dramatically and it's changing in so many ways. We now have a $1.5 billion movie studio that's been approved in Summerlin. We now have the A's ballpark that has gotten moved up from a demo date of 2026 to a demo date of 2024. So they moved it up by two years. Talk about that story in another video. I actually got screwed in that situation. But anyways, um, uh, so we have a baseball team coming, we have a movie studio coming, and the more and more research I do, I see over and over and over again that LeBron is trying to bring a NBA team here. From my understanding, just from what I read and just from my research, is, is that the NBA is expanding two expansion teams. I think it's 25 or 26, 2025, 2026. And one of those teams is supposed to go to LeBron and investors and they're supposed to come to Las Vegas. And I watched LeBron say it over and over on his interviews and on, you know, uh, different shows that he's been on that he is determined to bring a team to Vegas. We just had F1 and any time that Anytime that Las Vegas literally for three months turns the entire strip into a raceway, you know, you know that it brings money, it brings people. And I remember seeing Shaq on in pit lane in an interview saying, I've never seen so many stars in one place, and that was during F1. And I actually have a client, his name is Mark, and he was always telling me how big F1 was, and I'm a big F1 fan, actually, I'm a big Lewis Hamilton fan, um, but I've never been to a race, and he told me how big it was, and I was like, nah, it's not that big. But uh, it brought over a billion dollars in business over one weekend, so it's pretty insane, right? So the point is, is that Vegas is growing, and I've seen Vegas grow dramatically and I've seen it you know I remember when Buffalo was like a dirt road and those of you that don't live in Vegas don't know what I'm talking about but I remember Summerlin being built in the 90s in the late 90s and I remember thinking that was only like 25 years ago and I remember thinking man that is so far that is so so far and now they're building all the way out in Kyle Canyon which is unfathomable right and actually have a bunch of land in Pahrump, and people think, oh, Pahrump is 45 minutes away. Well, what they're anticipating is, is that by 2032, there's gonna be no more land to build in Las Vegas. And Pahrump is gonna be like a suburb. And right now, it's it's up and coming. And Pahrump is actually a great place to purchase and develop properties because it's, most of it is in an opportunity zone. Those of you that don't know what an opportunity zone is, you need to do your research, and it is extremely beneficial for you. If you owe a bunch of money to the IRS or your liquid, you can literally take that money and park it into a property. And there's so many tax benefits, it's insane. So if you guys out there are looking for places to park your money or you owe any of that to the IRS, let me know. I have some great opportunities on um, developments for you. But anyways, um, so Vegas is growing dramatically and I've never seen it the way it is. I mean, it's literally going to be the next California. The difference is, is uh, we don't have a beach, number one, which is a negative. However, there is no state tax, which is a huge positive. And the traffic here is not even close to what it is in LA. And even though there's almost 3 million people in Las Vegas, the traffic is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. It's actually pretty damn good compared to LA. Uh, San Diego isn't as bad as LA, but it's kind of in between um, LA and Vegas. But um, Vegas is just growing so dramatically and people keep saying, I'm just gonna wait and I'm just gonna wait to buy a house. Well, let me explain something to you. If a one bedroom is $1,600 a month, right? You do 1,600 January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 1,600 times 12. Can't do the math in my head right now. Whatever that number is, you just wasted all that money giving it to someone else. Meanwhile, prices probably went up. The amount that you spent in rent for that year, prices just went up. So all the money that you just went saving, 
right, to put in the bank, which you really didn't save, you just gave it to someone else, prices went up by that much. So what did you really save? You didn't save anything. Because you can buy the property now, even new home builders now are giving 3% interest rates for the first year, 4% for the second year, 5% from there on out. So as your pay increases, it'll be a lot easier because that interest rate will increase the next two years, but then what if interest rates drop, you know, with refi, and it just makes sense, right? So no, if you're on the fence for buying, there's never a bad time to buy. Even if it's a hot market, even if it's a, a slow market, there's always a, it's always a good time to buy, always. Real estate, you can't go wrong. Yes, real estate will go down, but it'll go down like this. It will not go down like this. So uh, prices of homes will never be what they were in 2000, in 2010, in, in 2000, in 1995, and so on and so on. So just know that that house that was $100,000 in 2006, 2007 during the crash, is now averaging 450, 500, and it is not going down. So Vegas is growing a lot, which is affecting real estate in Las Vegas. And I have a lot of friends that have bought high rises, whether it was downtown or the Strip. You know, the best high rise in Las Vegas is the Waldorf Astoria, by far, 1,000%. Then you get into Madara, Sky, uh, things like that. Then it kind of gets into the Martin and Panorama and downtown. But those high rises that were three, four hundred thousand are now five, six, seven hundred thousand. And with all these new developments going on, like Symphony and Jello and all these other ones, they're going to be worth a million dollars and within a couple years. I mean, no doubt, right? You have um, four seasons being built in Henderson, and it is just insane out there. So uh, Vegas is growing. You're going to sit on your hands and waste your money, or you're going to jump into the game. So. Take my advice. I'm, I'm only wrong once a year. Hopefully this isn't it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.